वेलकम टू आर एस एस टी आई टीवी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी ब्रॉट टू यू बाई वोखाट आई एम डॉक्टर रुचि शाह एंड ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ वोखाट आर एस एस डी आई टीवी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी आई वेलकम यू ऑल आई एम ग्लैड टू हैव विथ अस टूडे रिनोन फिजिशियन एंड डायबिटोलॉजिस्ट फ्रॉम नोएडा डॉक्टर अमित गुप्ता सर इज अ डायरेक्टर सेंटर फॉर द डायबिटीज केयर ही हैज अ रिच क्लिनिकल एक्सपीरियंस इन मैनेजिंग डायबिटीज पेशेंट्स वेलकम डॉक्टर अमित गुप्ता टू द शो थैंक यू So, sir, based on your recent talk in RSSDI 2020 on a very relevant, interesting topic of use of artificial intelligence for diabetes management, we would like to know from you what are the areas of diabetes care where artificial intelligence can play a key role. Uh, Doctor Ruchi, there are many areas of diabetes where artificial intelligence and machine learning can play a very big role, and artificial intelligence can help. in uh, clinical decision support it can help in patient uh, self management tools it can also offer uh, automated retinal screening for detection of uh, retinopathy and also uh, for the predictive uh, population risk stratification artificial intelligence can also be used for diabetes education diabetes prediction dietary and exercise guidance insulin injection guidance and monitoring of complications thank you sir So, sir, the next question is, what is the role of the clinical decision support tools in the diabetes management? Uh, clinical uh, decision support tools are actually uh, tools uh, which are based on artificial intelligence, and they uh, are based on various algorithms, um, which are based on uh, data derived from multiple studies and all. And they can be of uh, great value uh, by making uh, clinical decisions for our patients. For example, as we all know that therapeutic inertia is very very common in diabetes. and whenever we prescribe drugs to our patients we need to consider many factors uh, uh, we need to take many factors in account before we uh, go on and, and write a prescription for uh, i would just like to quote an example in an irish study uh, called decide uh, they used a uh, clinical tool where they address the clinical inertia and support uh, supported the general practitioner for the intensification of the treatment and this actually improved the hba1c and the other glycemic uh, outcomes uh it you would be uh, it, it is interesting to know that in uh, scotland they are already using a evidence based uh, medicine uh, <coughs> electronic decision support system and uh, this provides all the healthcare professionals uh, the best evidence based and is implemented by the scotland diabetes and uh, uh, by this tool they are also able to implement their national guidelines so uh, a guidance is available and uh, you can take a better decision for your patients thank you sir So, so the last question: What are the challenges which is associated with the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning? Uh, Doctor Ruchi, as you know that uh, uh, there are many challenges which comes with technology, and one of the key challenge that comes with the AI and machine learning is that there is a challenge between the interoperability between the two systems. So there is a limitation in reproducing similar results. So what result we may get in one population, we may not be able to get similar result in other population. <coughs> and most of these, uh, there is a lack of availability of source code for most of the algorithms. So the author they usually do not publish the algorithms. So uh, we are not able to know that on what algorithm these artificial intelligence uh, tools are based. So if we are able to regular, we have to regularly incorporate AI and machine learning tools in diabetes care. uh we have to uh make uh, uh we have to make it less expensive the acceptability has to be increased and the reproducibility has to be there thank you so much sir for sharing your views on this very interesting relevant and we can say the hot topic which is the artificial intelligence for the diabetes management stay tuned to rssdi tv 2020 brought to you by wokart for such more recent updates from the rssdi 2020 thank you very much thank you